Tell me that you are in Amsterdam without telling that I'm in Amsterdam. <laughs> bikes are very famous here. 60,000 bikes are stolen. People are protesting. We walk more than seven kilometers, thousands of steps. It's one of the quietest places in Amsterdam. It's winter time in Europe, but now I'm fully prepared for it, so everything is okay. My friend is there waiting for me. I'm super excited. I met with Ekin. We are gonna go to city center. I would like to introduce him to you. Hello. Hello John. How are you Ekin? I'm fine. You? Thank you so much. Finally we have met. We were planning to meet for a long time, but now today is time finally to meet and we are gonna enjoy the city together. Now we are gonna get our tickets and we will go to city center. Yeah, as you can see, bikes are very famous here. In that part of Europe, cycling is one of the most important transportation tool. You can see hundreds of them here. People are coming here, parking their bikes and continue with Metro. Yes, now we arrived to city center. As you can see here, train station. And after today, we are gonna do lots of things, lots of attractions. We are gonna join a canal cruise, which is there approximately, just, you know, around 4 p.m. we will go there. And city center towards that direction. So we are gonna go and see many places. And then the north part of the city is just behind there. We are gonna take a ship to cruise across the river. And then we are gonna go to a building where we can see the Amsterdam 360 view. All right, I'm really excited. Let's get started. Now lunch break, I'm starving. I landed and I didn't eat anything. Now I just saw a place, Turkish place, bakery place called Smitsari. And then we just come here. I want to show you what we are eating. We call this kumpir, also known as baked potato. And one sandwich here. Yeah, tea. Total we paid here around 17 euros. Now we are in the city center. We are in this really city center, heart of the Amsterdam. Now, this city center is more or less the same for the rest of the European cities. There's a one square, you can see the old cathedral and church, and then there are some historical buildings around the square, and there are also cafes and restaurants. This is same for the most of the Central European cities. Let me show you, let me prove my theory. Here, you can see the church is it's from medieval age. And then when you look at, if I turn around, you can see here old historical building. The moment up. And then here you can see the palace here as well. Now, what we are going to do is, we are going to walk on the streets of Amsterdam. I really enjoy cold, chilled, cool weather right now. And we will see some historical buildings. I will take some shots. Now, I just came to a place called Bihainov. This is a religious community from 14th century. All the ladies, religious women, are, were living here actually. And it's one of the quietest places in Amsterdam. That's what I've been told. And you shouldn't talk loudly here. It's very peaceful. Actually, people are still living here. As you can see, for residents only. I just thought that it's a museum or something like this, but there are residents, people are living there. I 
I want to give you an interesting fact about Amsterdam. Schiphol Airport actually below the water line. What do I mean? The sea level here is just zero, right? And the airport itself is below the sea level. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I've never seen this kind of airport in my life because most of the time airports are either on the sea level or above the sea level. But when you check Amsterdam, airport is minus 10 feet, approximately 3.3 meters below the sea level. That's a unique airport. When I travel the cities, I always say either one day or a little bit less than one day. When you start traveling and when you start seeing museums, it takes two or three hours. That's why, you know, you cannot see other things in the city. That's why most of the time I had to skip the museums, though I love them a lot. But now what I'm gonna do, my strategy is like this. The first time when I was in the city, I just do sightseeing. But if I come to next time, since I've seen many places already, now then I start seeing the museum as well. I would like to see that museum, but the problem is we don't have enough time for that. Next time when I'm in Amsterdam, I'll go for sure. I want to show you an amazing view here. See, canals are all around the Amsterdam. You can see how many hundreds of canals are there. You can really cruise on the canals all around the Amsterdam. Now, the first time in my life, I'm gonna make the canal cruise. I know this bus hop on a fall, so you can see all around the cities, like big major cities all around, you can see it. But these canal cruises, uh, I never seen something like this in Europe or in the world. So it's very unique for me. Now we're gonna have Amsterdam tour. It's gonna take almost one hour, and we have been walking for almost 75 minutes. We walk more than seven kilometers, thousands of steps. That was amazing, one hour. That was really awesome. I learned a couple of facts about Amsterdam. I would like to talk a little bit about them. The number one crime in Amsterdam is, guess what? Stolen bikes. Yes, each year 60,000 bikes are stolen. It's a good idea to have something like air tag or GPS on attached to your <laughs> bike, right? So you can keep track of your bicycles. And also, I learned very useful information as well. Uh, they use a special trick here for the building. Most of the buildings here, you can see it is from 16th to 17th centuries. Because when you're making this boat tour, cruising, you literally feel like, you know, you are not in 20, 2000s. You feel like you are on the, in the 16th century or 17th century. That was amazing. And most of the buildings are designed in a way that the upper levels, windows, are small. So it gives you an illusion of building is bigger and taller than actual size. One more interesting fact. There are more than 2,500 boat houses on the canals. And I was shocked. I just thought that they are just boat, but actually they are houses. They have full utilities. People are residing inside and you can even look for them, Airbnb. It should be a unique experience. Let me show you something. Over there, there is one more than one. Now, it looks like not boat, but proper house. But when you look at here, there's even number, you know, 52A. Uh, it's like a boat, but it's a house. People are living inside. There is one more there. But as far as I understand now, 
it's extremely expensive and now it's not allowed you can just use the previous ones and everything but it's really nice idea if you ever visit Amsterdam why not one night stay on the boat and enjoy your canal view it could be an amazing experience we have walked a lot now it's dinner time and it's getting cold it's evening time now that's it now we just came in one of the best Turkish restaurant uh, I would like to try Turkish food because yeah because you know the Turkish restaurants in Europe is way better than in Turkey in general that's my observation I don't know if it is 100% true or not but the quality is here is really good Now it's time for me grocery. Whenever I fly to Europe, I always do my groceries and I'll take some stuff with me to Dubai because there are some certain stuff that I cannot find in Dubai. Plus, if even if they are there, they're extremely expensive. That's why when I just come to Europe, I always do and shop whatever I need, especially groceries. I hope I'm gonna fit everything inside, but I don't think so. After the shopping, we went to the hotel room to get some rest because we were extremely tired. And after a couple of hours, we were ready for the second phase of the tour, which is nightlife of the Amsterdam. Yes, guys, I would like to say something about Amsterdam. Normally, when you travel around Europe or US, when you go to downtown of the major cities, after some time, the squares and everywhere is empty. You don't see any people. But in Amsterdam, it's totally opposite. You can always find something in Amsterdam to entertain yourself, regardless of time, season, and the temperature. There's always something to do. Now we are crossing canal to observe Amsterdam 360 views at night. They say that at night Amsterdam 360 views is an amazing place. And to be in the correct place, you have to go to Adams Tower. Adams Tower is an amazing place where you can spot 360 views and at the same time have a nice restaurants to eat dinner and drink some things with a nice music this elevator was one of the best elevator i have ever been it is the best ambience that you could ever imagine in an elevator and it takes approximately 15 seconds to go on top but this is the best journey and as you can see this is the magnificent view of the amsterdam city is full of lights bright and is glowing amazing Unfortunately, every good thing has to end. After enjoying one full day in Amsterdam, now it's time to go back to hotel and we take the same ferry to cross the canal and thereafter, as you can see, lots of people are still commuting around the city. Thank you very much for this video to Ekin. Without him, that day was not possible for me. As usual, guys, before going, please don't forget to like my videos, subscribe my channel, and hit the bell button to get the notifications for the next videos. All right, guys, see you in another travel vlog. Bye-bye.